Welcome to Technobabble. In this episode, I will talk about the Avatar 3D technology, science fiction technology used in the new sci-fi TV series Caprica. I will show you important computer components like a motherboard, and I will give you a brief opinion on the new Apple iPad. If you are one of the few that have not seen Avatar in 3D yet, I highly recommend doing so. The story is nothing special. I have seen similar stories in other movies. The one that comes to mind is Dances with Wolves, starring Kevin Costner. The reason why I recommend seeing Avatar is for the 3D special effects. People, this is not your grandfather's 3D. This is the latest and greatest 3D technology out. There will be other 3D movies coming soon, and most of them will not use the exact 3D technology as Avatar. The moment where I was in pure awe of the 3D technology used was during the scene where leaves or there was something falling down during the scene and I was so totally immersed within the movie and then and the 3D special effects that for a brief second I almost put my hand in front of my face and tried to like swoosh away whatever was dropping from the sky and then I came to realize like oops that's part of the movie 3D technology is here to stay and the next step up from HDTV. By the end of this year, there will be a few major TV companies offering 3D TVs. Computer companies will also offer 3D capable computers. There is this new sci-fi show named Caprica. It's on the Sci-Fi Channel, and the characters within that show uses awesome virtual reality technology where they just put on these little glasses and they are totally immersed into that on um, virtual reality. The best way I could describe it is sort of like astral projection. And the other piece of technology I love about that TV show is their computers. The computers are about the same dimensions as 8.5 by 11 copier paper. And they could just type whatever they want. They could even fold it up and put it in their back pocket. That technology in the show, or that make-believe technology on that show is awesome. And I know, I know, these two technologies are pure fiction and they will never become reality. Just like the 1950s when a single computer took up the space the size of about your living room, maybe a little bit bigger. If anybody back then mentioned that there will be a computer the size of a cell phone with processing power that will blow away several of those living room sized computers and will also contain a separate graphics processor on it, they will be laughed at back then. But, actually that, techn that technology is 2009. And it's about the size of my cell phone. And it's called a Nokia N900. Oh, and it just happens to have cell phone capabilities. I will show you a couple of PC motherboards and the stuff that connects to them. First is the older of the two. This circuit board thingy right here is a motherboard. This is an older PCI slot. This thing here is an AGP slot for the older types of graphics cards. Right here is where the CPU fits in. These are RAM slots. This is a stick of RAM or some people call it memory. And these connections connect to either hard drives, DVD-ROMs, or Blu-ray players. <clears throat> this right here is an AGP video card or graphics card same thing it will connect to the motherboard we we'll just go right here and this is what you get on the outside to connect to your monitor most of you will just have this and maybe a connector to appear to connect to your TV this is a hard drive hard drive for a desktop PC. The notebook hard drives are less than half the size. They're really, really tiny. 
this is a power supply with all the different connectors this is a connector for the older IDE drives, older hard drives and this is the SATA connector and by the way this is an IDE ribbon cable this is a SATA data connection this is for the newer hard drives and Blu-ray players and newer DVD players and this is for the older technology here is the newer motherboard these two are PCI Express slots and the big one right here connects to the latest and fastest video cards out in the market and the smaller one right here is the slower of the two and you could connect to gigabits ethernet or network cards on here whether newer audio cards on here or sound cards and here's where the CPU fits, so this is a CPU in there right here is a network connection so you can get internet or network your computers this is a network cable this connector right here is called an RJ45 connector this is ethernet cable or they could call it cat5 or cat5e and those are all the important PC components I think you should know about there was so much excitement and speculation as to how awesome the new Apple iPad would be before it was released in the live press conference and I must admit I was caught up in all the hoopla and I was getting ready to wave my big imaginary Apple fanboy flag in the air for the first time until I heard about the real official specs on it here's my take if you're looking for a really cool ebook or newsreader maybe even the best in, in the category definitely choose the Apple iPad the only thing is you're gonna have to pay a premium price for it compared to the other readers around that are probably about half the price maybe even less if you want a small portable computer that has few limitations then I recommend you purchase a little netbook much better choice for a real portable computer and just one thing for all the gamers out there do not purchase a netbook whatsoever if you want to game on it if you're a serious gamer just purchase a larger laptop the little netbooks do not have nearly the processing power as the laptops for a more detailed review of the Apple iPad check out the cleartechinfo.com website I'm Joey and I'll see you next time on Technobabble